It's okay. Seven here says, what is the square root of 625? Again, uh, what we can do here is, uh, I'm gonna assume, again, it's using this, uh, um, it's using the, uh, we're, we're talking about simplified radical form here. I have here 625. Uh, the first factor I would probably take out here is five, right? As you can see, all numbers that end in five and zero are factorable by five, right? So if I take this, if I take a five out here, I'm going to get 625 divided by five here, which is, I believe, 125. Again, I have another 125 here. I'm going to take out another 5 here. So take out another 5 here. I have now 125 divided by 5, which is simply just 25. And then now we have here uh, root, oh, sorry, this is square root 25. And we have simply 5 here times root 5 here. And times, we, know, we all know the square root of 25 is simply just 5, right? So we, times 5 here. Uh, square root of 25 times square root of 5 here is simply just 5. Uh, I five times five, so these two cancel out, and this should equal twenty-five. So the square root of six twenty-five here is equal to twenty-five, and this here is my answer for this problem here. This solution is also correct. They even did plus or minus, which is actually better. So plus or minus twenty-five is technically the, technically the correct answer, right? I have six twenty-five here. I'm taking out a five, taking out another five, and then I'm left with square root of twenty-five here, which I know for a fact here is five. So this here solution here is correct. Thank <laughs> you.